Greetings everyone, in this video you will learn how to create a Google Form. Forms can be used for a variety of reasons. One, you might want to collect demographic information from a group of people so you can create a form, conveniently send it to any number of people, have them fill out the form and the information will come back to you automatically. You can also use a form to do an assessment. So if you're a teacher and you've just taught a concept and you want to assess student understanding, you can cre have this form created, let students go on a computer or whatever device they might have, complete the form, and then that's a way for you to collect some assessment data. So to get started with creating a form, all you need to do is to log into your Gmail account, and then you, we want to go to Drive. So if your setup doesn't look quite like this, just make sure that you find this icon and be sure to find Drive. So as long as you get the Drive, you'll be good. Once you click on Drive, you'll come to this area and notice this is where everything is stored. So Google gives you free space to store a variety of different forms. So to create our form, we just go over to the top left and choose Create. And there's different ways that you can create your form. So you can start a spreadsheet and then from within that spreadsheet you can create a form or you can go straight to form. So I'll just go straight to form. The first thing we'll do is give it a title. Now the title is important so that we can look it up later. And then you can select a theme and now you can start to edit your form so if I go here I can put some directions you know whatever you need to type here to help the person completing the form and then you start to edit your questions so right here the first one is already ready for us to edit and let's say I want to know the person's name first and I just type that now for question type I'm, I don't want multiple choice here because it's not a multiple choice question so I can change it to text and so your question type will determine or the content of your question will determine what you choose for that part and then if we want to make sure that the person responds to that particular question we can highlight this required question option and now the form cannot be submitted without an answer being provided and once you've finished everything on that particular question you select done and this is what your question will look like now you may be asking why we selected the theme but we don't see it we won't see the theme of the form until we actually go to view live form so let's cover a few more things before we look at that form and notice over here once I create my question I can edit it I can also duplicate it and delete it and if I go here to add item it'll just add another question so I can continue and if my question type changes of course I can change that again and if you click this drop down arrow, you get some more options for things that you can add. Alright, so let's delete this so it doesn't show up in our form. And now we're ready to test our form. So we only have one question, but we can go to View Live Form. And once we've done that, you'll notice that it's all set up for the person to type their name. So we'll go back to our demo for a second because we're going to go to Responses and we'll choose to we can change our response destination if we want so if we click on this it's automatically set to new spreadsheet so a new spreadsheet should be created every time I do this but if I say new spreadsheet in an existing spreadsheet so if I already have one created and I create this new form and I want the information to go straight to that one I can select that option and then I would have to choose that form and this will take me to my Google Drive but we'll keep it set here and then we'll go here and let's go back to our live form and this time let's type a name here and then I'll select submit and notice that it's letting me submit it and let's say I try to submit it without typing my name it gets an error message so the user knows that alright I have to go and type my name and then when I select submit a message is produced and that lets the person know that they su successfully submitted the information so the next thing we'll do is go back to our drive and now I'll just type in demo and notice that I have the form but I also have this document and when I select this document it shows a spreadsheet so it shows a timestamp and notice that the question that I created was automatically set as a field in the spreadsheet so every question I had would show up across these fields and all the responses would show this way and you get to manage it and take a look at it from there so if we go back to drive again and let's say this time we type in demo 
and we choose to look at the form version of it this time if we go to view we can look at the live form from here we can look at full screen we can go back to responses and this will be a handy tool summary of responses so this will just show a summary and there's nothing really here to show because we didn't have that many questions but this will give you some good analytics which is if you're collecting data in your classroom that's a good thing to have now once I'm finished with my form and I have all the questions I want then the next thing I want to do is send that form so we just looked at our live our live form and that's just for the editor to see what's going on and how it looks but if we want somebody to actually complete it we need to send it out so if I select send form I can do one of two things I can copy this and then share it through one of these social services or I can send this via private email I can link it in a website, a blog, a wiki, or what have you. I can also enter the names right here directly if I wanted to send it that way. Another option is to choose to embed it. So you can get an embed code and this assumes that you have a wiki space, a blog, or some sort of website and you can embed the form and the user will complete the form directly in the browser. But it'll work the same way. So those are your two options for doing that. And I'll click done here and do that one more time. So if you go to send form you'll be able to get the link and you can link to this on any type of document or you can send that directly to people so whichever one works the best is the option you should choose and that's how you create a Google form there are there are tons of other little features in here so you may want to play around with it and it's pretty easy to use but you've got the basics you can get started so now go forth and create some forms